breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day, or so they say. Most of us don't have time in the morning to make a nice, healthy, hot breakfast. And who wants toast or cold cereal on a winter morning? No, you want a nice, hearty breakfast sandwich. Well, what that normally means is you have to stop somewhere on the way in to work. That sucks too. Not only, not only that, but it's a little bit expensive to do that. Well, I have a solution for you. I'm a big time lover of breakfast sandwiches, as you could probably tell. And I'm also a lover of, of kitchen gadgets. So to marry these loves up, I present to you the Hamilton Beach Dual Breakfast Sandwich Maker. This thing is super cool. Uh, I got it for Christmas, and we're going to try it out this morning. Now, the secret of this thing, it looks like your standard pinini type sandwich maker, but the secret is this right here. So the secret is this ring-shaped insert that goes in the sandwich maker that actually controls all of the elements and allows you to make an entire sandwich all at once. What you have is a lower ring. And then you have this ingenious cooking plate and, and the upper ring itself. Now these fit right into the, the cooker and, and rest on the heating plate. And what you do is you build your sandwich within the, the cooker. So in the bottom here, you're gonna put the bottom part of the bread and then some cheese and then whatever meat you want to put on here. Now, a couple of things to, to point out. The, the bread has to be pre you know, something pre-cooked, like an English, English muffin or a biscuit you've already, you've already made. Sorry. Okay, then the cheese and the meat. Now, the meat also has to be something pre-cooked. This does not cook things. It simply warms them up. All right, so you have your bottom bun, your cheese, and your meat. And then you lower this with the plate in place. And this is where you put the egg. So you, it actually cooks the egg right on here. Now, it does say a couple of things. First of all, uh, you should use large or smaller eggs. There's a potential for a mess if you allow the egg to overflow. So the egg cooks in here, and then you just set the top right on top of the uncooked egg, and then close the unit. Now, another thing it tells you not to do, do not press down on this. Oftentimes, it will not close completely. It will be compressing the sandwich together. But if you push down, it will cause the egg to overflow and make a mess as well. So you just let it rest on here and it will take care of, of the rest. Now there's all kinds of different ways you can make your sandwiches. We're gonna try a different, a few different recipes here this morning and we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. So, insert the other template. And so with this, we're, we're almost ready to go. We do have to plug it in and let it preheat. Um, and that leads me to my only problem with this, this unit itself, and that is the power cord. This power cord is about 18 inches long, which makes it not very practical often for uh, being used on a countertop unless you are right by the plug. I have to use a, an extension cord and that bothers me. This thing should be at least three feet long. All right, so let's plug it in and we'll let it preheat. So, as it comes on, you'll see a few things. You'll see the power light is lit. Oh, excuse me. You'll see the power light is lit. This is the preheat light. When this comes on and it's green, it's ready to go. And then you have this timer right here. Now you wanna cook the sandwich four to five minutes. We're gonna go for four and a half minutes and uh, allow it to do its thing. Now you preheat it with the, the lid on. And uh, once that's uh, preheated, we'll be ready to make our sandwiches. So while we are uh, putting the, the sandwiches parts within the sandwich maker, I want to discuss cost. I've costed out what it, what the expense is by component for each of these sandwiches, and we're going to discuss that. And we're going to compare that to what your standard cost is at a fast food restaurant and see if we're making any savings. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, as we make this sandwich, we'll, we'll talk about the cost of each one. Okay, as you can see, the green preheat light is lit. 
So we're going to open it up and we're going to go ahead and, and fill our sections with our sandwich fixings and uh, from there we'll uh, <clears throat> just go ahead and, and do our thing. Now, a couple of things. You do want to have all of your ingredients ready to go because you have to build these out really quickly. If you Since they're, they're, it's a timed thing, you're going to want everything uh, you know, ready to go, ready to be assembled so that you can get the optimal cooking time for both sandwiches. So we're going to quickly do that. Now, I'm making two different sandwiches here. I'm making one that has an English muffin. So there's the English muffin bottom. Now the English muffin costs 75 cents I, uh, per sandwich from, and now these are my local prices. Let me build this out. So uh, for cheese, you can use sliced cheese. We, we like to use different flavors of, uh, of, of cracker cut cheese. So this is pepper jack. Now the biscuits are 32 cents each and the, the cheese slices we estimate about 20 cents each. All right, so there's that. I have a couple of pre-cooked sausage patties. Each one of those is 63 cents. So there's your bottom build out. Now we put the, the top layer down. I have a pre-scrambled egg here. The, these are medium eggs. These are 13 cents a piece. We're going to do one scrambled and one fried. Now when you do do the fried egg, you want to pierce the yolk. And then we put the tops on, right on the raw egg. And we close the compartment. Now we're going to cook these for four and a half minutes. So you use this up and down rocker here. And at this point, we just have to sit and wait. Four and a half minutes, we'll wait and uh, these sandwiches will be completely ready. Okay, so with those two sandwiches, uh, basically with the English muffin, um, the egg, the cheese, uh, the meat, uh, we estimate that one to cost, well it's not an estimate, the exact cost of the English muffin one is, is one dollar, uh, it's sausage muffin, so it's one dollar and seventy cents. That's how much that costs per component. With the biscuit, it's a little less because the biscuits are a little cheaper than the English muffins. So with the biscuit, with the sausage, the cheese, and the egg, that cost us $1.27 to make that sandwich. By comparison, those two, if you go to one of your local fast food restaurants, and I'm not going to name the product or the brand, branded type of sandwich, but you all know or have a good idea about what that will be, uh, the sausage muffin uh, retails at two dollars and ninety nine cents. So, just by making it here, we've saved a dollar and twenty nine cents on that one sandwich alone. For the second one, which is a biscuit, the uh, sausage sausage biscuit with egg is two dollars and seventy nine cents. It cost us a dollar twenty seven, so we saved a dollar fifty two on that one. This uh, cooking device I got at Amazon. It was forty dollars. So if you extrapolate that kind of savings out over time, um, when you have made 30 sandwiches, you will have broken broke even on this product. 30 sandwiches is nothing. I'm making four this morning. Uh, so 10 uses of this device and seven uses of this device, and we have practically broken even on this. So after that, it's all, it's free, right? And you're making money at that point. Okay, as the timer runs out, we'll do the magic. And the first thing we do is pull the egg, the egg partitions out. And it's ready. Here's the magic. Boom. And we open it up. Now, this one, you see the egg is quite a bit bigger than the sandwich. It, it does fill the it does fill the egg compartment when it's made, so you'll want to um, you'll want to uh, try to get biscuits or bread that is of a size with the rings. Otherwise, you'll get this overhang, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right.
And here you have the beautiful cheesy goodness of these breakfast sandwiches. All right, now to make a second batch, all you have to do is just wipe off, wipe off the uh, the, the cooking area. Uh, quickly wipe off the egg platform. Now, one of the things they do say, and I didn't do it on that run, but I'm going to on this one, put a little bit of uh, cooking spray on the the egg portion. So we're going to do that this time. All right. So now we have again, we have. English muffin. Now I'm using American cheese on, on this one. I have the uh, English muffin, American cheese, some sausage, and this one I want a biscuit. Now the cheese is probably too big for this biscuit, so I'm going to fold this one in half. Alright, cheese. Now this one I'm using Canadian bacon. And when you use Canadian bacon, you gain a little cost there as well, because the Canadian bacon is only 50 cents. So when you make this with the Canadian bacon, this actually drops the price down to $1.57. A little spray of cooking spray. The eggs. and the lids. All right, four and a half minutes. So in four and a half minutes, you'll have a nice hearty breakfast. You can take it on the run with you in the car. Uh, you'll have it to eat, you won't have to stop. But if you have everything prepped, all the sandwich meats and everything on hand, when you go to make this, you can preheat it you know, while you're, uh, I don't know, brushing your teeth, then you can put the sandwich together and go put your shoes on, and then you're ready to walk out the door with a hot, hearty breakfast. All right, here we go. Do the magic sliders, come right out. Here we have our biscuit, and as I mentioned, it's a little, uh, a little um, egg is going to be a little bit bigger than the breakfast meat on this. Now, the the cheese I used, the sliced cheese, is, is a little big. Now, for that particular for that particular uh, uh, bread, but for this one, it overhung a little bit and got it actually got a little crispy, which I think looks delicious. Now, we do have some uh, leftover cheese on the bottom here. No big deal. Comes right off with the no stick cooking. The other aspect of this, which is really great, is of course, as you saw, these come out. And you can either hand wash them once they're cool, or you can uh, put them in the top rack of the dishwasher. So either way is fine. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna go before these get cold because they look delicious and I'm gonna eat them. But uh, I did want to share with you my, my first experience with this and how easy it is and my thoughts about the, the cost savings and everything with these uh, with these sandwiches and I think it's a it's a great thing. Uh, how do they taste? Delicious. Apparently they're delicious. I'm going to find out for myself in just a minute. How could you go wrong? It's bread, eggs, and cheese and, and sandwich meat. It, you can't mess that up. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for coming by and... Uh, you know, breakfast, it's uh, the most important meal of the day. See you later.